Come bride of Christ, receive the crown which the Lord has prepared for you for eternity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. You all. And and the Spirit. Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Oh, we we have have you. You. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And and us us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year on the feast day of your handmaid, St. Cecilia, grant, we pray, that what has been devoutly handed down concerning her may offer us examples to imitate and proclaim the wonders worked in his servants by Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth, when she came up from the land of Egypt. I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. So the king desires your beauty, for he is your Lord, and you must worship him. <coughs> Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Oh, glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment is threaded with spun gold. In embroidered apparel, she is borne into the king. Behind her, the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. They are born in the gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The place of your fathers, your sons shall have, and you shall make them princes through all the land. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. This is the wise bridesmaid whom the Lord found waiting at his coming. She went in with him to the wedding feast. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. <clears throat> Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flask of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, it all, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all of those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. So they went off to buy it. The bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church offers us the opportunity to remember the early virgin martyr, St. Cecilia, patroness of music. Uh, I had to go back and refresh my memory on St. Cecilia. It had been a year since I had uh, read anything about her. And as we will recall, she, uh, she is born of a wealthy pagan family. They believe that she would be inspired by either relatives or maybe a nanny uh, to become a Catholic <coughs> Christian. Uh, she would devote a lot of her young life to doing charitable works <clears throat> in the name of our Lord. She would make a, a vow of virginity toward God, but that did not stop her parents from uh, setting up, arranging her to be married. And that night, uh, after her marriage takes place, uh, they said that uh, her young husband comes to her and she tells him not to uh, not to approach her. She's made a, a vow of virginity to the Lord and that uh, there's an angel protecting her. her. She has a guardian angel. He can't see it, but uh, if he's baptized, if he goes and studies the faith, becomes baptized, believes in it, becomes baptized, then he'll understand. And uh, she sends him to go see the Pope, Urban, at that time. He goes, he's inspired by Pope Urban, starts to learn the faith, himself eventually becomes a Catholic, he is baptized, and he goes, and then he is able to see uh, her guardian angel, which affirms everything that he had done prior. He's so now affirmed. He even gets his own brother to study and his own brother converts and becomes a Catholic. Both the brothers are later pulled in by the Roman governor, uh, profess their belief in Christianity, their belief in uh, Jesus as the one true God. They are martyred and eventually Cecilia endures the same fate. They lock her in a steam bath in our house for 36 hours, and she still is alive, which shocks them. So they decide just to decapitate her, and the uh, executioner gives three good whacks with the sword, but he does not end up killing her, breaks her neck, lacerates her very badly, uh, and leaves her on the floor and after a period of three days, she eventually succumbs to her injuries. Uh, her tomb is very famous because you'll see in marble at her tomb, uh, her body. And the, the, the story is related that, that when they opened up her tomb, they found her body lying in that position and corrupt. And they closed the tomb, but an artist was commissioned to witness that moment and then to, in art, make a marble statue. So he does. He commits a marble statue. You can go see the marble statue today over the tomb. And that is in the position that her body was uh, laid to rest in. All that being said, uh, I came across something that I did not know today in my studies was uh, actually her name, Cecilia, in Latin, Cecilia, uh, comes, it's a derivative of a word for blindness. Cecilia means the blind one. And it's kind of amusing because uh, she saw her guardian angel and others did not. Eventually, they would when once they were baptized, her husband. But I thought, Let's take it on a different approach. We honor St. Cecilia today, and we honor her under the title Virgin Martyr. And I thought, my God, 
she saw something that we're blinded to. And that thing, since we're all adults here, is the beauty of virginity. You know, nowadays, I don't know, see, nowadays, shoot, I, God, I remember back in the 80s when I went to school how virginity was not something that uh, was highly elevated. People would make fun of people who were virgins. I think a lot of that comes from the 1970s when the <clears throat> sexual revolution took place. Now that we have artificial birth control on demand, then there was no obligations, no responsibilities. Uh, as I uh, spoke with a group of young men one day, I said, you know, when you think about it, it's almost like you started to treat other people like video games. This is all pre-2019, because pre-2019 there was a, a and it's still it's a small chain store called GameStop. GameStop, you could go and you could buy a video game for your computer, your Xbox, your Nintendo, and you would work. You would work at it hard, and you would finally play and beat the game, and once you beat the game, you take it and you trade it in and get another game. And we started doing that with individuals. You would try to win. You know what winning meant. And then once you won, you can trade it in for another game to try to win at. And we lost the importance of the dignity of the other. And that now opened up a door because if the artificial birth control doesn't work, well, you got to have something that does. So we now move to the other big sin, the one with the beginnings, with A. So you have this progression that has to take place, but it still doesn't uh, give any person their dignity back. We're just tools for pleasure. We lost the virginity, that importance of virginity. We're blinded to that beautiful, beautiful grace. And I'll conclude. Uh, huh. My old grandfather, God bless his soul, he, when he was alive, he taught me a lesson about that that I'll try to impart. Uh, one that stuck with me, still, God, I still remember. Mm -hmm. It's uh, only about 16. 15, 15, started driving and uh, now take out my little girlfriend. My grandfather pulled me to the side and says, son, on your wedding night, what would you rather hear? Would you rather hear your wife say, you know, I have waited. I've waited my entire life to share myself with you. I've never shared my love with anyone else as deeply as I'm going to share it with you. I said, man, that sounds great. He said, or would you rather her say, yeah, you're number uh, nine. And I said, no, I don't want to hear that. He said, well, well son, if, if you don't want to hear that from her, then why should she expect it to be hearing that from you? Makes a lot of sense. He understood the importance of that dedicated love, the importance of virginity. Cecilia <coughs> understood that. We're the ones who are blind to that. So I can only encourage us to try, to try to fight the culture, to be countercultural, and to encourage the young people to see the beauty of that great thing. And to be able to offer to their spouses on that wedding night that deep, intimate love that they'll never share, that they had never shared with another person. Just a thought. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <clears throat>
who watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our chapel today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray during this month of November for all our holy dead, the souls in purgatory, and especially those whose names have been placed upon our altars during this month of November. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Ernest Lewis, for whom this Mass is being offered and the consolation of his family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory will be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Cecilia win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised, their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in the struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
and with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word and my soul shall praise you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word and my soul shall be healed. The wife virgin has chosen a better part, and it will not be taken from her. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Cecilia a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you, sir. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us from hell. Be our protection against the wickedness and sinners of the devil. May God rebuke him when he humbly pray. And be you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, 
for us in hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, most holy sacrament the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit in the assembly. Blessed be the great Mother of God and Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, most chaste cross. Blessed be God, his angels and his saints. 